Hello, going back here. This time we ended up on Shatigon on my legacy character and I will show you some things about Guaonid Forest Zone that might be a small source of income for any of you. And I just want to mention here that those methods aren't huge money makers. They are something unique for this zone and some things you might want to know before you start your activities here. Enjoy! Number 1. Fishing in the lake. In the middle of the zone there's a lake which you can use to bait worm fishing but also sport fishing, normal or family one. Thanks to fish stand location, which is located close to the shore, if you choose this spot to fish, you will not waste time on delivery process. So you can dedicate entirely on fishing instead of moving around and searching a place to sell your fish. Number two, stuff to pick up. On the other part of this lake you can find white herbs, they cost only one labor to pick up and reward you with various seeds. Besides that there is also a lot of lotus to pick up and if you expand your search this zone has to offer apple trees, trees to chop down for logs, various herbs, iron ores and some clubhead funguses. Number 4. Stuff to kill. In this zone you can find low level ward boss. Killing it can reward you with some prestige if you are in a guild and you are completing daily guild quests. That's a really good thing to do and you can do it alone probably if you are above level 50. Other than that, there's a, an area of level 40 elite monsters and killing them might give you different type of items. Several decor items, treasure map with coordinates or even fire iron clad parts for building your own tank. Number 4. Housing area. This zone has temperate climate which makes it good for most farming activities you might want to do. Also, this zone has pretty decent speciality trade packs, those are Guaonid dyed feathers, you need 20 orchard puree, 15 goose downs and 1 gilda stars to make one, and Guaonid apple pies, which require 50 chopped products, 30 apples to complete. So as you can see those packs aren't so expensive to craft, and zone locations makes this trade pack quite popular amongst players who prefer to make only safe trade runs, because there's a lot of distance to gold trader in two crowns so you can deliver those and probably you will not get killed unless someone declares dominion on your, on your gold. Other than that you will be traveling through safe zones with PvP disabled. If you decide to deliver to two crowns you can get like easy 12 gold, 12 to 13 gold. I could put number 5 here but I've decided not to. Number 5 would be intercontinental trade runs, making packs for intercontinental trade runs but Patch 3.5 will change those kind of trade runs, resource trade runs, and I don't want to bring in any confusion here. I want you guys to make money, not to lose money, so let's wait for more solid information before we aim for this kind of travels. And that's it from me about this zone. This is how I see Guaonid Forest in terms of unique or just useful money making informations and opportunities. If you liked this video, please hit the like button, comment or subscribe. Thank you very much and see you later.